Welcome to Mitch's Papers. Today we're gonna do an unboxing of Tooth and Claw. I'm gonna add some more Space Wolves to my army. Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we are back and Clubber Lovers on the scene. That means it's time for another unboxing. This time, it's going to be Tooth and Claw. Now, I have to tell you, I've been waiting a very long time for the Tooth and Claw, for the Space Wolves to eat Gene Stealers, or Space Wolves to eat anybody, really. Uh, I've been waiting so long for this marvelous box, or, or this marvelous uh, release, I should say, uh, because I wanted some Space Wolves. That's right, I got really excited about the codex releasing and everything else and I got really really hyped for it and look at all these sprues look at all the detail look at just what you come to expect with GW really uh, we have our space wolves that's right primaris space wolves which is great uh, you also have the captain now this one is this one thing is a very very new sculpt at least we get one that's right one thing that is new um yeah that's the most important everything no i'm kidding uh <laughs> here we have an upgrade screw for primaris marines and they have shoulder sponsons and they have uh we have uh, chain swords and all this other goodness coming through and i actually bought an extra one online and oh there's another one with a lot of lot of detail coming through again upgrade sprues so that means i'd have three of them in total so i can upgrade all the primaris that i want at the moment now look at all that even even the even the belts and you have all these kind of neat uh, accoutrements. I really get into these videos. Uh, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, uh, here's some more goodness. I don't know what this sprue is. Ugh, this is Gene Stealer. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, to be fair, Gene Stealers are Gene Stealers. I guess they're kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to paint them up or sell them off. I'm not even sure, but you know, hey, it's Gene Stealers. I don't think I want to start a Gene Stealer's army, Gene Stealer Cult's army. So, yeah, I'm happy with my Space Wolves, to be honest with you. Um, so there's a lot of options here. I mean, look at all these sprues upon sprues upon sprues upon sprues of plastic. That's a lot of molding. That is a lot that comes in uh, in one little box, really. I mean, yes, the mold and everything else. Look at the molding on this thing. It's kind of cool to come up and have all the bones and everything else in there. Look at that. Look at all those little details. It's, it's kind of freaky, actually. I don't even know what those things are. Kind of like aliens coming out of there. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually enjoy painting them. Or maybe I'll paint them and sell them off. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. But, uh, hey, they're there. Uh, here we go. Now we're talking um all the details up all the sprues i can't believe how many sprues come in this box there's just so much here look even more details and more mounds and freakishly odd things with arms and claws and all kinds of things going on there it's kind of freaky all right oh yeah space wolves look at that right there all right let's take a look at the other side of this and the other side of here even more like it's almost overwhelming how many pieces come into this thing look at this Wow, I'm gonna have a lot of fun building this. Some people just get intimidated and say, oh man, there's so, so much to build. Oh man, there's so, so much to paint. But that's the whole point of the hobby for me, man. Building and painting is where it's at. And then I get to play with them too, that's the bonus. But the main reason I do this is to hobby and to build and to paint. And when I have a box set like this with all these small little details, look at that, look at the small little details. I mean, with all that, I just go, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's grab ourselves another sprue because yes, there are more sprues and more sprues and more sprues. I don't know if uh, GW could actually pack more items and more pieces onto into a box than this because this is a rather thin box compared to the Renegade box compared to the Adeptus Titanicus box that we opened up. But just the amount of sheer amount of stuff that comes in here is absolutely insane. As you can see, finally to the last sprue over here and I don't know what this is but it looks pretty big and massive it looks almost like a vehicle I think that might be a vehicle oh wait a second that is the Resemptor Dreadnought but not the easy to build one 
Remember. All right, now I got a poster because you know I love my posters. That's right. I actually uh, decorate the man cave down here with a poster. Uh, so yeah, look at that artwork, man. That's so cool. I can't wait to put that into a poster. All right, so here we have decals. That's right, decals. I have these are the Primaris ones that you get into the Dark Imperium box, but I ordered some more. Ah, yes, you gotta love all those glorious bases. And look at this pie plate over here. It's metal. Oh no, it's plastic. Okay, so here we have bags. Ooh, bags. Let's see what's inside the bag. All right, I'm just gonna rip this open here. Rip, 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 rip. rip. There you go. We gotta open that up here and see what we got in here. Ah, what's all this? Oh, good. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so... Okay, I'm going to get out of the picture. Oh, my goodness, that smells so good. I love the, the smell of GW models and plastics. It's pretty unique. I have an experience. So, we have the Let's Build here. Again, detailed. Oh, uh, G-Stealer stuff. Yeah, okay. We got stats and everything else as well. All right, I wonder if that guy fat fake cute. Probably. All right, so what we have here is... Ah, uh, yeah. Space Wolf goodness. Look at all the options you have here. Look at all the options. There's so many choices that you can make. And and all that's left over is all these bits that you can actually build on for your bases and everything. Here is the Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought, the full one, not the easy to build one that I built. So I have three in total. Uh four actually dreadnoughts in total when I'm done with that. Here are the gene stealers. These are the ones that come into the box. And man, oh man, there's a lot of stuff over there. No, they're the enemy though. Yep, here's the newer models. Uh, pretty cool, I guess. Uh, if you're a Gene Stealer fan. Oh, that's heresy. Heresy. Okay, right, what is this? Um, and more stuff. I think this is Bannerman for Gene Stealer cuts. Interesting. Like, they're easy to build, but they come in so many different languages, I guess. Um, I can read Spanish, so that's pretty cool. All right, there. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. Look at all the characteristics. All right, I'm going to get lost in that. I'm going to put that away. All right, what about this one? All right, what we have here is more stats. There's more of a bill sheet, I guess. Um, wow, look at all that. That's it, Primaris. Oh, my gosh, there's so many options. I got to check out more core rules because you need more core rules. All right, and there it is, Tooth and Claw. I guess this is the game itself on the planet. There's that artwork again. And... Um, the Warzone Vigilus and the Fife of Vigilus and, and the story that it's actually telling. This is a starter box for people mainly to get into, but I couldn't resist the release of the Space Wolves, so I had to get it. Absolutely had to get it. This was a must for me. Uh, again, I wish they had Russ. <laughs> That's what I was really hoping for, but at least we get something. And it wasn't quite the value for money for all the things that you do get in the box. And look at that right there. Right, so this is going to be really fun to build, and I'm going to add on to the Space Wolves Army, which I'm really, really excited about. That's right. Oh, man, they even have their own missions. Look at this. That's pretty cool. I can't wait to play that one. All right. Wow, look at all these battle plans. Love it. All right, well, there it is, the Tooth and Claw. I hope you like this unboxing, and I'll catch you on the outro. Well, there it is, all unboxed and ready to get built and painted up. I'm super excited about all the Primaris Marines that are in there and wolfing them out for Rust and the Allfather. How? So if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time on the Miniatures Paintbrush.